Hula hula girls? No, it's like a flower. Oh. It just goes nice. Okay. Well, that's cool. I respect it. Thanks. What's going on y'all? I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench and thank you for tuning in to yet another video. As you can see behind me, in this week's vintage truck camper renovation series, we actually got to painting. We finished pretty much all of the painting I just finished, touching up all of the imperfections earlier in the day. Before we can actually get to the painting, we had to basically disassemble all of the cabinets. We took the doors off. We also sanded all of the walls. Unfortunately, my memory card crashed and I lost a lot of footage of the process of like taking the cabinet doors off and some of the sanding and some of the little things here and there, but overall I think it's still a very complete video. I do have an important update for everybody, but I'm gonna save that for the end of the video. For now, just enjoy part two of the truck camper renovation series. So we thought we were going to prime the walls for paint today, but we realized that we hadn't taken off all this shite off the walls, which is like the trim that goes in between the cabinets and stuff. So now we're ripping all that out and we realize we're probably gonna have to take the floor out before we paint. And this is turning out to be a lot longer of a process than anticipated, but it is what it is, right? Look at Tessa back there at work. Cube it up, kid. She's not thrilled. Oh, yeah. Nothing is as easy as it seems, boys and girls. Always remember that. Yeah! Got it! <laughs> All right. That's how we do it when we forget to film you actually getting it. Hey, 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 no, don't tell them that. It's oh. a lie. Is this one not want to come out? Come on, little boy. So it's not when you come out of the
it is now day, huh? Well, I don't know. I've I've lost track of time, honestly. But we're many days into the renovation process, and finally we got the walls completely sanded down. All the cabinets are taken off, and I'm ready to start priming the walls and getting them ready to paint. Now the primer takes about eight hours to dry, so I'm not going to do the priming today. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do the painting today. I'm just going to do the priming, and then we will get to painting tomorrow. For now, I'm just gonna clear out the camper and get started with the priming. Oh, and in case you're wondering where Tessa is, today she's actually tutoring. She does tutoring on the side, so if you need a tutor, hit her up. And so that being said, she's not gonna be joining for today, but hopefully she'll be back tomorrow. This video is brought to you by Ace, the place with the helpful hardware folks. Just kidding, this video isn't actually sponsored by Ace, but Ace, if you're watching this, hit us with that sponsorship, yo. We've been in there like every day for the past two weeks. Come on. Oh, by the way, y'all, I haven't painted in at least 10 years, so I don't have a proper technique. So please take it easy on me in the comments with, you're not doing it right, you should do that and that and that. And... I know, I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. But I'm doing the best that I can. That was a reference to my last video, if you didn't see that. You should probably go watch that one. First wall is done. Many more to go. Probably gonna have to uh, get more primer. I only have this one little can. I thought it would be plenty, but it's looking like I'll have to go to the hardware store yet again. Ace, remember, sponsor this channel. Sponsor these videos if you want that clout. Hit me up, Ace. I was able to successfully prime everything. It's all ready to go for tomorrow. I will start painting tomorrow and I guess I'll just see you back here in the morning. The day is finally upon us, guys. We're finally getting to painting. As you saw yesterday, I primed everything and the walls are already looking fantastic. So now we're going to paint the ceiling. We're gonna paint the cabinets. We're gonna paint everything. It's gonna be fun. Things are gonna start looking really good really soon. Anything to add? I'm ready. Tess is still waking up, even though it's almost 11. It is 11, geez.
far so good. Tessa's trying to clean the paintbrushes, but it's not looking good. Show your hands, you did the same thing. Yeah, and I learned from my mistakes. I didn't try again. Got the goods. We got the goods. Finally, we got the so goods. Long. Bro, that was like 15 minutes. You should be impressed. I thought you were gonna be like, "Wow, you're back already." No. I She's not impressed. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, get off me. It's a paint party, it's a paint party. We're partying, cause we're painting. Hey! Where's your whiskey? Ah, oh, I should get another, check out some beer. <laughs> Ooh, it smells without the mask on, which is, I guess, the point of having a mask in the first place. We just finished coat number one on the ceiling and by golly it looks really good what do you think i agree it looks better than i thought especially painting over this wallpaper whatever <laughs> it is yeah we took a gamble painting on the wallpaper but it looks pretty good yeah. it's got a nice little textured feel to it yeah. and now we're going to move on to painting the cabinets while this coat dries because we're gonna have to do an extra coat um maybe even two extra coats i don't know we'll, we'll see how it looks is that the best moves you got? Yeah, I feel like one of those like, like little flower things that you put on your dashboard with like the oh, the, the Hawaiian hula hula girls. No, it's like a flower. Oh. It just does this. Okay, well that's cool. I respect it. Thanks. It's just the first coat too. It'll look better once we put more coats. My vans are gonna have character. It's okay, we'll be like those hipster painters. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Can I pull off the hipster painter look? <laughs> or just poor boy. I only have one painter. No, hipster painter. Yeah. Artist. Should I do it while I'm naked? Do so you know 100% real me? It's the real me, guys. This is it. This is me. I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be. Right? So This tape, which is from Ace Hardware, and it says professional painter's tape. But as you see from the footage, it's just like terrible. It's like peeling the paint off the edges. It's not clean, sharp lines. Take it's, it off the primer. it's absolutely trash. I highly recommend steering clear of that. Today, we're going to be using this Scotch 3M ultra sharp lines painter's tape. Should have got that stuff in the first place. I don't know why I got the cheaper one. And and now I'm kind of worried because a lot of the edges are not looking good. It's even it's peeling paint off of where we painted and I might have to like repaint, which really sucks. But hopefully once we 
apply the white coat. It could cover a lot of the kind of blemishes and the not so good looking stuff. And I don't know. Don't get cheap painter's tape. It pays off to get the good stuff. Don't quit your day job, all right? Frank Ocean, if you're watching this, I love you. Frank Ocean is definitely watching this. Hell yeah, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is a nomadic vagabond. So this one is this one thicker. We're ready. I don't know why that first coat of the white paint took so much faster than our first coat of the gray paint. Maybe it's just because we got better at painting since then. I would hope so. Second coat is done. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! I'm done for the day here. This video is probably getting pretty long, but I really want to show you guys in the morning what it all looks like when it dries off. I'm going to peel off the paint hopefully it looks nice and sharp and so i guess i'll just see you back here in the morning and then i'll probably end the video very shortly after that i knew that was gonna Damn happen it. Oh, oh my god wow i could call it now it's gonna be a nice white line up there if Tessa could ever get it off. Oh, that one. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think that's going to be it for that video. As you saw at the end, the paint job that we initially did was kind of a fail because when I peeled the painter's tape, not only were the lines not crisp and sharp, but a lot of the paint got peeled off with the tape. I don't know, I don't know why, but it is what it is. So basically I just finished touching that up today, but that's where the camper stands now. I have quite a bit of work left to do. It's really just turning out to be one thing after another. Like if you remember in the very beginning, I said it, it's probably gonna take a lot longer than I'm anticipating. And that's turning out to be very true. And now basically the update that I was talking about at the beginning of the video is I have to go up to Portland this Monday, which will be two days from now, but when you're watching this, it's Sunday. So I'm leaving to Portland tomorrow because I have to pick up my cat. And I was hoping that I'd you know, be at a point in the camper where I could just bring that up, finish off the little details while I'm living in it with my cat. But there's actually quite a bit left to do. So I don't, unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm still working on the camper and very soon in the near future, I will be moving into it full time. Like I said, it's just, a matter of when I get everything done. I'm gonna let you guys get on with your day now because I'm sure you wanna do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there, go on some adventures, live life, beat the status quo, do all that fun stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys very soon in the next video.